On this day, the Illini defense seemingly had all the answers to stymie two of the Big Ten's most exciting weapons in James Hardy and Kellen Lewis. And Coach Lynch gave them all the credit. You gotta give Illinois credit. I thought they played a really good football game and they're a good football team. And it seemed like we were always two scores down. And, and uh, when we got within a score in the second quarter, then they came right down and scored and that was big. And, because uh, that kind of played into their hands. The Indiana defense had another impressive outing, forcing three Illinois turnovers. But Richard Mendenhall's 214 yards rushing were too much for the Hoosiers as they fell 27 to 14. We're a lot faster, we're a lot bigger, physical. You know, we get we get everybody to the ball. You know, we just got 11 guys that just love to be out there. I you know try my best to do it, but it's obvious that I can't do it alone. I need you know those guys on offense to score, and we need defense, our defense to step up even more. We expect to come out and make big plays. We expect to cause turnovers. We expect to stop them. But you know you don't expect your offense you know to have you know that sort of bad day. It almost kind of turned into a guessing game. You know if we think this guy's blitzing or that guy's blitzing, and they did a good job of mixing it up and keeping pressure on us. So uh, hats off to them. So with that, Indiana's undefeated season came to an end. But a team with four turnovers and 14 points of offense shouldn't expect to win. From Memorial Stadium, I'm Patrick Hurley, Hoosier Sports Night.